in this demonstration, we are not going to use any ropes or rubber bands to tie the liner. As explained in my earlier video, in order to make it more stable, the area surrounding this elbow should be reinforced with concrete or semben mortar. Usually, I prefer adding the waterproofing compound. Once the pond or tank has been completed and is ready for installation of the liner, we come back to our outlet point and clear the area surrounding it. We need to ensure that there is a gentle slope starting from this point towards all the other sides. This ensures that all the water in the pond will drain towards this outlet when it is opened. We then proceed to clear the area under this outlet point and expose the concrete that we had earlier laid. We then remove the plug to allow us to do a better job. And stuff the elbow with a piece of cloth which will allow enough space at the top for the clearance. Thereafter, we continue with our preparation of the outlet point. Depending on the weather, you may sometimes find that the soil has not fully dried. Remove the piece of cloth we had stuffed inside the elbow joint. We then proceed to clean the inner surface of the elbow using a wet cloth. After this, we use a dry piece of cloth to ensure that the surface is completely clean and dry. At this point, you can either leave the surfaces to dry in the sun by giving it time or you can use a heat gun to ensure that the surface is dry. Once you are sure everything is completely dry, you then go ahead and apply the bitumen or silicon on the inside of the pipe before applying on the surrounding areas. Personally, I prefer the bitumen, although it is not a very clean affair. Ensure that every part of that joint is well covered with the bitumen. Once the inside has been done, we then proceed to the outside, the top part. Normally, bitumen spreads well and sticks better when it is warm. This is the reason why we are using the heat gun to ensure that the surface is uh, quite warm and the bitumen is fluid enough to spread evenly on it. At this point, you are now ready to install your liner. After liner installation, we go back to the outlet point. Remember, this point is covered by the liner. We identify this, the, the spot and mark out the outline of the pipe. We will then mark out a hole of 2 inch diameter at this center as described in our previous video. After marking this hole and ensuring that it is perfectly centered, we then go ahead and cut it out. Just remember this. The outlet pipe below the liner is 4 inch. We are making a hole at the center with a diameter of 2 inch. Through this hole, we apply 
more bitumen under the liner. This is the part that will come into contact with the part of the pipe and concrete on which we had applied bitumen earlier on. After this stage, we will apply some heat on the part of the liner between the small hole and the edge of the outlet pipe below. Once the liner is soft enough, we quickly push in the plastic ball in order to widen it and push it towards the sides of the outlet. This ball should remain in place as the liner cools down. After the liner has cooled down, you remove the ball and apply silicone. Remember on the other side of the liner we had already applied bitumen, but now on the outer side we are applying silicone. The same silicone is also applied on the floor trap cover that will be inserting into that opening. The reason why I prefer using silicone at this stage is because it spreads out easily as compared to bitumen. Once the silicone has been uniformly spread on both sides, the floor trap cover is then placed on top of the opening and pressed in gently. Any bit of the liner that is not aligning well inside the pipe can be heated so that it fits in well as the cover is being inserted. Finally, a screen is then put over the opening and the sides sealed using silicone. Remember, the drainage and overflow control of this system is done from outside. So, if we look at the other business end of this drainage system, we will find there are two pipes. One pipe is for drainage and the other one is for overflow control. Mm.